In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the issue in Adobe Premiere Pro where the application freezes or gives the not responding message. This is a relatively simple one to fix. You would just need to go through each of these methods to find the solution that works for you. So the very first thing you need to do is head over to your Adobe Premiere Pro application. And we're going to start by clearing our media cache, which you can do by coming up to edit in the top here, coming over to preferences and select media cache. And then underneath media cache files, you'll have an option to delete these cache files by pressing this delete button. And I'd recommend selecting this top option just so it doesn't interfere with any files that we're currently working on and press OK to delete these files. We can then press OK to head out of here and next thing you need to do is come over to file from the top, scroll all the way down to project settings, inside of general and you'll see an option here underneath video rendering and playback. At the moment it's set to Mercury Playback Engine GPU Acceleration. We're going to change this to software only at the bottom here but just bear in mind that this might slow down the application slightly but it will fix the issue of Adobe not responding. So this one's really optional but you can test it out and see what works for you. We can then press OK to save our changes and another thing we're going to do inside of Premiere Pro here is come into edit at the top inside of preferences and you need to select this memory tab and then from this section we can allocate Premiere Pro some more memory and you can do this by reducing this number here which is RAM reserved for other applications so ideally you want to set this number to the absolute minimum which means we've got the absolute maximum set for our Premiere Pro. This might slow down your background applications but this definitely will speed up Premiere Pro and it can also cause the not responding issue. We can then press OK to save out of these changes and another thing that we can try is if you're using effects on your video clips down here say for instance if I just apply a warp stabilizer to one of my clips then sometimes by applying these effects it can interfere with our program and cause crashes so in order to resolve this situation when you have applied effect to a video clip what we can do is right click on the video clip and select nest then just give the nested sequence a name and press ok and by doing this this is more likely to prevent any crashing issues from the future now that's all of the settings we need to change inside of here so I'm going to close out of the application and next thing we're going to do is close any background applications which you can do by coming to the start menu and searching for task manager then tap on the task manager tab and these are all of the processes and applications that are currently running on your computer and we just need to close down anything that we're not actually using. You can even order this by which ones are using the most amount of memory by hitting this CPU button and then just right clicking on anything we're not using and selecting end task. Once you've finished closing down any applications in here we can head out of this window and next thing we're going to do is head over to the Adobe Creative Cloud. Just launch up the application. And once we're inside of the Creative Cloud, you need to come over to Updates from the right here. And we need to ensure that Premiere Pro is fully up to date. So if you've got any pending updates inside of here, just click Update. This is important as sometimes new software can include things like bug patches and software fixes, which can also improve performance. And once you're fully up to date on Premiere Pro, we can head out of this window. And the last thing we're going to do is come over to our Start menu and search for Device Manager. And then tap on the Device Manager tab. And in this list, you should see something called Display Adapters, which we need to expand here. And you need to locate the graphics card that you're currently using. So I'm using this NVIDIA one here and what we need to do is we need to update our graphics driver. Now the best way to do this is actually head over to the manufacturer's website. So as I'm using a NVIDIA graphics card I'll just head over to Google and type in something like NVIDIA driver update and we can follow the steps on screen in order to update the driver. This is also a really important step not to miss as sometimes outdated drivers can cause issues with our applications. And that's it guys hopefully by following all of these steps that's now fixed any issues you're having with Adobe Premiere Pro not responding. If this video did help you then please drop a like and subscribe. Until next time.